to another episode of AVF. Um, to start the day, I'm just on my way down to Tanvix. Got another vehicle to service down there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but uh, before we get going with all the work stuff, um, big announcement to make. I finally made it on YouTube. I actually got to apply last night to be a partner or a YouTuber or whatever you want to class it as but the application is in I've made it um, three weeks it's took me three weeks with all your help and uh, I've hit all the goals already so that is absolutely fantastic um, so yeah another thank you to everybody that's watching Hope I keep the content real and entertaining or le educational, I don't know. We'll just... I hope you watch anyway. <laughs> Has anybody else noticed how everybody's so caught up in themselves in this world now that there's no, nobody sort of, uh, what's the word, just polite or anything anymore, are they? I'm only 36, so obviously I've only been driving, what, 19 years, is it? Yeah, past at 17, and I can tell the difference on the roads. I literally sat here at a T-junction, cars coming past, there is gaps, but not enough gaps to sort of uh, pull out, but nobody, this day and age, flashes you out, slows down for you, or anything, it just... Everybody's in a rush. I don't know why. The world would be a lot nicer place if people just took one step back. There's actually just a bit more caring about things instead of themselves. We've become very selfish, haven't we, as a uh, sort of population or whatever the word is. Made it. Here we go. Just quick service oil change, filter change, fuel, air. Nice easy job to start the day. Uh, from the barrel there, so look at that. Right at the top. I hope it holds that. Air fuel, oil. Three main filters. Well, that's great enough. We'll do fuel filter and air filter, and then we'll get back to the oil. Uh, which one should we do first? Should we do fuel? Nice and easy, straightforward. Okay, just plug off. Uh, the way 
a minute. One pipe, two pipes. Filter up. I want new filter. These filters do prime themselves up when you switch the ignition on. The switch ignition on, leave it ignition on for 20-30 uh, seconds and start it up and uh, you have no issues. Oh, you shouldn't have any issues. Fuel filter done. It's just going too smoothly. What's going to happen? Dab it with a bit of oil. New filter. Jobs is good. Dipstick out. So they are coming through. We've only got a three litre oil jug, so I'm going to take a couple of trips here. Did put some bung back in, didn't I? <laughs> I've done it before. When you're young and stupid, playing around over the pit, drop the oil. Somebody talks to you, you bugger off, you come back, you put oil in and realise that some bung's still out and the oil drainer's still sat there, so you're going straight through and into the oil drainer. We've all done it. Don't deny it. If you haven't done it, then you're not experienced anything, have you? I feel like I should have bought myself a bigger oil jug. Right, let's get started. Get that oil running around that engine. And then we'll dip and check the oil after. Here's it running. Gotta remember to turn the service lights off as well. What you need to do a service on a Renault. Yeah, it's a big Renault. Yeah. Alright, let's dip this oil. Let's see what we're at. See if I can place you on here again. Oh, stay.
Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Right. Get the oil drainer a quick clean. That'll do. I'll take that back. And call that done. Go see Peter. And then we'll find out what we're going to do next. See you in a minute. No, we forgot the service light. Oh, we got the service light. Now, if I remember right, on this, put the ignition on. Service light will come on. Service light will come on. We've got some buttons. What about there? Service do. Got some buttons on the end of the stick. Now, not sure if I can hold it so you can see both. Not really, but I believe, if I remember right, you scroll to service, hold. Service due flashing, service mileage is now reset. And then we press it again and we come out. Now, if we scroll through, yeah. Jobs are good and as easy as that. Now we can tell him it's done. I'll take the oil drainer back and say bye bye. Let's go. Right, next job is take my little lad to nursery. How you been there? You going to nursery? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll drop him off at nursery and then we'll uh, hopefully we've got a bit of a treat him for the next job. But yeah. I've got to check with the customer to make sure we can record. Yeah. Yeah. Vinny, do you like lorries? Um, I like Scania lorries. You like Scania lorries, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do when you're bigger? because there's lots of cars. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Roxy, you're in the way. Oh, there we go. Now say bye to everybody. Bye! <laughs> so see you next time. See you next time. <laughs> Good lad. Right, that's the boy dropped off. So, oh. car coming. Um, off to the next job. I have just received an email from YouTube. I am now officially a YouTube partner. Thanks guys.
That's absolutely brilliant. It's got a good day today, isn't it, Roxy? Look, even Rox is excited. Roxy, we did it. We made it. You two partner. You and me. Yeah, you and me. We did it. Come to dunk without you guys, though. Um, right, today we're carrying on with this Scania. Um, running all the wires. Getting it prepped up, ready for all the lights to be put on. Uh, I'll give you a quick tour, quick scan around. I spoke to the customer who's allowing me to put it on. So uh, yeah, we'll do that. Let's have a, let's crack on. Good day today, it's cold. The wind's horrible. We've got a certain person that coming down soon. I'm helping him out on some wiring. Ah, Chris. Um, yeah, if it's not raining, it'll be a good day. I'm blabbering on. Roxy's coming to say hello. Hello, Roxy. Come and say hello. Come and say hello to everybody. Oh, you're nice and warm. Give me a cuddle, you're warm. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're nice and warm, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Right, let's crack on. Should we do it? Should we do it? Look at the hair. Look. Look how disgusting my van is. That's you. It's a good job I've got a Hoover in the back, isn't it? I think, is it gonna, should we do it today? I don't know if we have time, we might have time today. A wash and a hoover, what do you reckon Roxy? You up for it? Wash and a hoover, and give you a brush. Look everybody, where's it gone? I've got, I had, I've lost it. I've lost it already. You're not set on it, are you? Here we go, look. Treated Roxy to a groomie. Apparently they were massive on TikTok. The best of the best. The Rolls Royce of uh, brushes. Are you ready? Later. Yes. Later, this is for you. It is. Don't eat it. We've got to look after this. Yes, we have. Well, look after it. Look, do 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 do. You're not one for pampering. You will be. All right. Let's give you a quick tour around this gang. Never mind sitting there. I could sit in that van all day and do nothing. It doesn't achieve anything. All right. We've got ourselves a Scania Supra. So on this, we are, like I said, it has got some bits on it. So we're putting strobes in the low bar, strobes in the top bar, headboard on, bigger sun visor with more lights in, big A frame on the front. We're putting mark lights on the mirrors, Mark lights on the steps with work lamp. Um, strobes up at the top. More work lights up at the top. We've got work lights to go under the battery boxes. Down lights to go underneath all the way round. We've got to have some down lights, haven't we? We all need down lights. Yeah, we do. Um, put a Turkish whistle on it. That's driver as requested. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, and probably some more lights in the grill.
Absolutely. Alright, so yesterday, obviously we stripped the dash. We've got a lot of our cable, obviously all done. So, we're going to run some cables on the outside now. Get all the cables in places where we're going to need them. Um, yeah, I don't know if we've got any lights yet. We might have some lights I can start mounting, but we'll see how we get on. Here he is. We're going to finally sort his van out. We're going to give him some power. Give him some lights. We're going to bling it all up. Bling it all up. Down lights. Putting down lights to it. Side markers all over it. Yeah, side markers on it. What do you reckon, people? Come on. Any anybody that wants to put, send a light to him, I'll mount it on here somewhere. <laughs> Go away with your lights. Too much go wrong, then in there. They have, yeah, they, yeah, all, all that, mate. Oh, it's warm in here, Christopher. Know, mate. It's my new nighting trim. Yeah. Your your really cabbie to work so well. It don't really light. I'm still gonna cover him up though, because it's still hot. It's about 40 degrees. Have you checked the emissions in here? Do you have to have your emissions tested inside the cab when you go from OT? <laughs> <laughs> which what's exhaust what's are the, the lid, guess, Which exhaust are they, they, they connect to when they do the emissions underneath? No, I'll buy one of them little birds what you put in the corner. <laughs> what they used to have in the corner. Oh yeah, in the mark. Put that in the corner, and if it dies, you know something's wrong. <laughs> someone's asked to feed in it, mother again. Oh, <laughs> Carbon dioxide tester. Yeah, that's the carbon dioxide <laughs> tester. I can't remember what bird he used to use actually. <laughs> eh? I can't remember what birds he used to use, like little blue tips yeah, like or something, didn't they? Yeah. Here we are everybody, you can see what Chrissy works with here. Look. He's got all the gear and none of it's connected. All the gear, but not connected. It's obviously very futuristic <laughs> stuff, guys. I only keep the most futuristic gear on my van. Absolutely. I don't know what any of it does. <laughs> it is, it's actually sterling gear. This is good stuff. This is stuff I'd actually be happy to use and have in my own vehicle. And so, I'll disconnect it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, I've told him, we're basically going to rip all this wiring out and start again. <laughs> yeah. No, the problem is he's he pulled it all out. He doesn't know why he pulled it out, but he's pulled it out for a three reason. Years ago, four years ago, I should think. Three, yeah. yeah, three, four years ago. So if the fact he's pulled it out is there could be an issue somewhere. So all we're going to do is obviously start from the start from the beginning. We'll take the power from the front battery, bring it through his charge, split charger and through his battery charger, make sure we've got the right outputs, reconnect this battery up. And then when we know we've got a good auxiliary battery, we can start thinking about putting some lights inside for him. And having his nighty to work in, and having everything working without using his vehicle battery. I've got a nighty for now, guys. What I fitted yesterday. Look at this lot. If you haven't already seen, look at that butte. Look at that. <laughs> oh, lid dog. He's gonna be tasty warm. Right, I switched off now, so I can disconnect this at now. Absolutely. Let's do it down. <laughs> do. Right, just gonna fire his van up and test the powers. I'll set you there. There we go. Now. Oh, so we've got power up with that. It's even switched on and told us it's working. It's more about the scale of what we've got to do. Look what Chris has brought me. 
Oh, I didn't actually bite you. I got to give them, mate. But no, yeah. I said brought, mate. Oh, right. Not bought, <laughs> mate. Brought. Brought. Oh, that's right. Newarker. I didn't want to think I'm a newarker. I'm a newarker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got myself a Milwaukee hat. I could put all my hats across the uh, back headrest, couldn't I? That's not a bad idea, that. I'm going to put my hats across my back headrests. Yeah. I've got my Portic one. Alright, I'm in the bus. Chris has given me these lovely interior van lights. Man, <laughs> so we've got man in his van. One and two there. We've uh, neatly ran his wire, hidden across the roof of his van. So I'm going to do is solder the connections up. Chris is wiring it down to the battery. Jobs are good. In. At least one mate as an auto electrician. <laughs> it comes in very handy, that does. Obviously, you need a mate as a bricklayer and a builder, you need a mate yeah. as a uh, plumber, a mate as an electrician. Uh, what, other, what other jobs have we got that are really handy in everyday life? Obviously, a mechanic. Everyone needs a mechanic as a mate. Obviously. Obviously. Somebody who's got a big van. Yeah, somebody that's got a big empty van is always yeah. handy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I dread when I get that looter on the road, more, more, <laughs> more phone calls, I may as well turn it into a hire firm, I should think, yeah. isn't it? Especially oh. if it's registered to the tip. Yeah. <laughs> Cancel people, don't dig an hole, put pipe in for water, dig another hole, put gas pipe in. We just dig one hole and put them all in and all, don't we? Absolutely. We don't like making work. Well, we do. Yeah. <laughs> well, we do, but still. Shaking here, Al. <laughs> What's that eater on? It does. Oh, it's like a race against time. I need that shaking here. I need this done quick. Quick, Al. We need it done quick, mate. It's going to be shaking here. We've got it. Oh, need that. Oh, need that. Imagine he's moving him off these chairs. <laughs> You see that? You see how all that wiring looked really messy and then look, it's just disappeared. It's gone. It's wireless. I hope you're not slandering my wiring now. No, I'm just saying it, it looks wireless now. Just even even that, I can oh. just make it disappear. Well done, mate. Yeah, why do electricians not like to see wiring? <laughs> <laughs> I know, because now when you're a mechanic, you do, you do a job and you want to see its glory, yeah. don't you? You're like, yes, look like at that. Plumber, like you can really see all stuff. that that work I put into that and everything. Well, I, I don't. Yeah, I, it, I right? like everything hidden. Uh, but then I like to see the pretty bit, which is the light working. Or whatever it is working. Yeah, I suppose being like, you do get a certain degree of light. Yeah. See, I'm one for. I don't want to see how it works. I just want to see it working. Yeah. They've had some people. Who was it? Um, oh, one of Pollard's. I put some lights in his uh, door. Mm -hmm. He's got them real big light-up boards on the door. And I hid the wire. The look of the wiring was really small, so I managed to hide it in the creases of the door. Uh, trim 
And somebody come out to when somebody else saw it says, How's that one? In battery powered or something. You went, No, it's all wired in. Oh, well, I've just been looking around it. I can't see a single wire going to it anywhere. Is it your Georgia door card or something? No, 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 it's, it's all there. <laughs> it's invisible wire. Yes. Uh, can I plumb these in then, Al, now? Yeah. Yeah, plumb everything in. <laughs> and do. Um, the only thing we did, we'll have to I'll do... I'll just off anyway. Is, yeah, I don't know. We're going to be chopping this red wire anyway. Why? Oh. We need a switch and pad that. Damn it. We do, don't we? Multi fuse. We've got that. Switch. Yeah, what you could have done. A lot of fuse. <laughs> what? What is that? What did you say? IT to fuse. Yeah. 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 So the fuse. Oh, I know what your fuse is. This is 30 amp cable, isn't That's it? That's right. It's got fused in the cable. Yeah, it's so when the cable gets over 30 amps, it'll burn out. And through and the yeah, cable, yeah, obviously. Oh, I see what you're thinking. See, it's, it's, it's all modern yeah. wiring. <laughs> Definitely not just your standard two core wire, that. Right, what you could do. <laughs> you can't do all your work. <laughs> oh no, fucking hell. Chop. No, what I'm going to do is no, chop, chop it here. No, chop it there. And join that. Onto this red wire here. That then goes onto there. Mm. And that will then go. needs to go to a future. The, 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 the switch, and then from the switch you go back onto that. So it's got fuse in it, is that what you say? Yeah, and the switch. Okay, that sounds alright. Yeah, alright, we'll do that. We'll undo all my work. Well, just that one bit. Just that one. Just, okay. Just, just that one. Just that one bit. Right, you're off then. Where are we putting your switch? Obviously on there. Oh, you might as well on this piece. Okay, fair. Well, where's the one coming from the top? There. Yeah, that one. That, that one, that one. Alright, so then that can be connected up to this one. Yeah? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, it wants connecting to that, but they yeah. both want connecting to the switch. The problem is this isn't going to be long enough to go to the switch, is it? So we're going to have to add another wire onto it to go to the switch. Oh. Which is alright because what well, if you get another bit of two car? Obviously, just in case you need to open it. Well, why, am, why am I doing it? Oh, oh, don't worry, watch this, right? So you've got your door open, and the switch is there. You want sort of that kind of length. Oh, so join it to there like that? Yeah. So then all you're going to do is. Yeah. One yeah, side it, yeah. goes to that, that side goes to that, and then two go to the switch. Yeah, I like it, darling. That's it. Nice oh, and easy. One side goes to that. One side goes to that. So one I need side. a spade fit and a straight joiner. Yeah.
Yeah, that's a good idea. I like your idea there, Ralph. I'm thinking outside <coughs> the box then. Absolutely. You don't give me much rent though, have you on me switch? Yeah. Well, I'm tight with my wiring as well, you know. I don't like wastage. <laughs> How much more do you need? It will unplug off the switch anyway, the wire will, if you really had to. Just enough, isn't it? Just enough is more than enough. <laughs> When you work like our Archie Lady School, on time is late. <laughs> How do you work that out? <laughs> Apparently that's what we told the kids, on time's late. On time's late? Yeah, so if you're there for three o'clock and you, if you're meant to be there for three o'clock and you exactly come on three o'clock, you're late. Well, why don't you tell me to be here for quarter three then? Yeah. On that email I got from YouTube, yeah. it said something about turning on moderation. Yeah, monetization. Yeah. yeah. Do you have you to turn? Circuit Yeah, they said it's all open now for me to use. Yeah, but you need to turn it on manually. Yeah, I was gonna say, how do you turn it on? I've, you got a studio. Yeah, I got a studio. You can't do it on the app though, can you? Yeah. Oh, can you? Where's your phone? Oh. It's up here. Let's have a look then. Go you have to click on each individual video and edit it. It's all work itself out. It will work itself out. Yeah, you just don't want to be missing out on some income one. Well, that's it, isn't it? And then, like I say, I suppose it's because I'm not, I haven't hit all the hours yet. I mean, I've got no choice as such, have I? No. I'll save all my best videos until I'm fully monetized. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Good idea. Right. Can I switch it on now? Yeah, if you want to. What? Will the power affect you though? Yeah. No. Oh, mind you, I ain't got it plugged in now because I ain't got a switch on it. No. The switch ain't on, is it? Nope. Unless them wires are touch in, then it will. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Why, should this night even work then? This is all wired up, yeah. Hang on, are you unplugged yet? Yeah, we'll put the point two forty off. Yeah. Oh, what's his name, Al? Dave. Dave's up there. Oh, his new trailer's come, has it? Oh, has he got a new trailer then, Dave? No, Matt. He's obviously gone to fetch that for Matt. Oh, he's up for Matt? Yeah. That's Jamie Key's wagon there, look. And that's his brother, Matt Key. He's who got these scanners and that, so he parts around what I've wagged and all that. That means I've got some more wiring jobs to do. Yeah, and then I've got more jobs to do on it now. Nah, more yeah. lights to put on. All for Dave! Woo woo! <laughs> it's my boy Dave! Yeah. <laughs> yeah it is! Yeah it is Friday Dave! <laughs> And as well, it's my birthday! Happy birthday! Thank you, Dave. Thank you, mate. Thank you, I got you a Foster. Oh, thank you, mate. Just the offer's enough, mate. <laughs> you know, talking about Fosters gets me emotional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's still afternoon. <laughs> oh, it's drinking time. All right, pack up, let's go to the pub. Yeah. Right, I've disconnected 240 volt now. Now I'm going to see if this bad boy switches on with my little remote control here. Yeah. You're powering up, Al. And why have we gone on to 212 volt, Christopher? 
what? Why have we gone on to 12 volt? What do you mean? Why are you not running off 2.5? Oh yeah. Right. We <laughs> haven't left it on the 240. For what reason? Battery power. You run an inverter. Yeah, that's it. I run an inverter all the time. This is what I always say. Yeah, you just run it. <laughs> yeah. I could have left it on that 240 volt, couldn't I? But that means it's running the power through this inverter to then power that little night eater that doesn't even need 240 volt. So what else is you don't want it doing that because then it's putting strain on your on your battery and it's putting strain on your your your, yeah. your what's it called? What's it called? What's it called, Matt? Battery. What's it called? <laughs> what's it called? What's it called? <laughs> inverter. Inverter. Inverter, Matt. Inverter. So, as he just comes out of his heated oven, <laughs> isn't it? Giving us the sub story that we've got a freaking easy life. We've got an hangover. <laughs> got an hangover. Uh, oh, my fucking phone's dead now. Nah. Is it? Talk to myself. <laughs> I don't even know if I didn't even get Matt on it. Right, oh, here we go. Finishing project of the Struggler's Bus Lights. We have one switch and it lights up. Christopher did that himself. Ah, oh, you see. And look, one light facing out. Two lights in the van. Oh, it's like daylight in here. Oh, mate, it is, isn't it? Look at it. Yeah, it's even got work lights at the back door. Yay, we have <laughs> bloody professionals here. I need the sun to go down there. Yeah, we do. <laughs> see the full effect. Just... It's quite good actually. I just stuck into that little screen I had in there. The only downside is, is I can't get a good view out the front. Yeah, awkward, yeah. But I, if I, it will, because obviously I can pivot it up and down. So if I pivot it up, I can. But then my screen, my phone's just like sat right there. I'm like, oh. yeah. Yeah. Right, I know it doesn't matter, but. Uh, uh. It's a good view for them, but I, I, everybody can see what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. The only other thing I thought is I'm going to look because I want another dash cam for the van anyway. Forward facing camera now if you have an accent or out. Oh, yeah. I've got one in my glove box which is quite good, but I, want, uh, I thought what I might do is buy a really good one, fit that, got content fit in the dash cam, yeah, the dash cam and then I've got the yeah, dash cam for the content. Because you can get them on Wi-Fi, so all you do is Wi-Fi. You log into it like you're logging onto the internet. Yeah, yeah. I'll see. Hold. Depending on how big your memory card is, depending on how much footage it'll hold. But yeah, then you just download it. Right, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, obviously, after getting them lights done on the uh, struggle bus, uh, me and Chris just obviously had a bit of a chat. Um, I helped him on a couple of little bits, but it was, ma it was mainly his content. Hey, oh. After getting uh, the struggle bus lights all fitted, obviously I just helped him out, finishing off a couple of other little jobs. But that was more his content, so I didn't film it. Um, so... I got absolutely nothing done on that Scania. By the time I thought about doing it, I couldn't be bothered to start it. It was too late on in the day. So, the Scania is going to be Monday's project, I think. But we'll blitz that one. Um, and a big day for tomorrow. Lots of lights, inspections, um, various defects. So, let's have a good day tomorrow and see how we get on. Catch you for now. Stay safe. See you later. Bye.